Hi guys, in continuation of our lecture about differential equation of a family of curves, uh, we're going to solve uh, another problems but this time involving circles. So yung mga naunang problem na sinagutan natin, uh, we obtain the differential equation uh, of family of curves involving lines. So ngayon, magsosolve na tayo involving circles na. So meron tayong dalawang problems dito. Yung una, we need to obtain the differential equation of circles with center on the y-axis. So, yung center ng ating circle is nandito sa ating y-axis. And ito yung magiging solution natin. Then, after that, we're going to solve this wherein we need to obtain the differential equation of circles with center on the line y is equal to x. So, itong green line na nakikita natin dito, yan yung ating y is equal to x and our center is located there. So, ito yung magiging solution natin kahit medyo maaba siya, pero uh, isusolve natin to ng step by step para maintindihan ninyo. No? So, ito yung mga sasagutan natin ngayon. So, hindi na natin patatagalin pa. Let us now dive to our step by step solution. In our first problem, we need to obtain the differential equation of circles with center on the y-axis. So, meron na tayo ditong uh, diagram. No? Yung ating figure na gagamitin para sa ating problem. So, we have our x and y axis and we have a circle here. And this circle will represent lahat ng circles having center on the y axis. So, let us say that this is the center of our circle. And, di ba, ang coordinates ng ating circle is hk. Di ba? In our analytic geometry. But since it is lying on the y-axis, therefore, our x will be 0 and our y will be k. Okay? Kung naalala ninyo yun sa ating analytic geometry, ang uh, coordinates ng ating center ng circle is hk. Okay? But on this case, dahil nasa y-axis ang ating uh, center ng ating circle, so therefore, our x is equal to 0. Okay, and in that case, let's say ito yung ating radius. Okay? Ito yung radius natin. Which is, uh, let us represent this as A. You know, para mas madali natin siyang ma-identify sa ating solution. Okay, so to begin, sulat muna natin yung equation ng ating circle. So we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to a squared. Okay, so because uh, we said here that our radius is equal to a. Okay, now since our h is equal to 0, so may iwan sa atin dito is x squared plus y minus k squared and this is equal to a squared. Okay, so in order to obtain the differential equation, Kailangan natin siyang i-differentiate, no? Katulad ng ginawa natin sa mga previous problem natin. So, let us take the derivative of x squared. So, this is equal to 2x. Then, the derivative of x, which is 1. Plus, the derivative of y minus k squared. So, we have 2y minus k. Then, the derivative of y minus k, which is y prime. And this is equal to the derivative of a squared. So, this is a constant. So, this is equal to 0. Okay? So, we have 2x plus 2y prime y minus k is equal to 0. Okay? So, simplify natin. Divide natin both sides by 2. Okay? So, mga may iwan sa atin dito is x plus y prime y minus k is equal to 0. Alright, so now we need to eliminate itong ating k no, dito sa ating equation in order to obtain our differential equation. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is to isolate itong k natin sa isang side. So, uh, I'm going to transpose itong x natin sa uh, right side ng ating equation and then also itong y prime. So, ang maiwan sa atin is y minus k is equal to negative x over y prime. Okay? So, as you can see, kapag dinifferentiate natin to, uh, 
magiging zero itong k because the derivative of a constant is zero. Okay? So, let us now take the derivative ng both side ng ating equation. So, the derivative of y is y prime minus the derivative of k is zero. And this is equal to the derivative of uh, negative x over y prime. Okay, so this will be minus, okay, the derivative of x over y prime. So we have y prime times the derivative of x, which is 1, minus x times the derivative of y prime will be y2 prime. Over, uh, we will be squaring itong ating denominator, which is y prime squared. Alright, so we have here y prime is equal to negative, so y prime minus x y2 prime over y prime squared. Okay? So, simplify natin. I'm going to transpose itong ating y prime squared dito sa kabilang side. So, we will have y prime cube is equal to negative y prime plus x y2 prime. Right, so I'm just going to put everything dito sa left side ng ating equation. So we have y prime cube minus x y2 prime plus y prime is equal to 0. So this is our final answer dito sa ating first problem. Okay, so dito na tayo sa pangalawang problem natin. So, now we need to obtain the differential equation of circles with center on line y is equal to x. So, again, meron tayo ditong x and y axis. And itong green line na to, ito yung ating line na y is equal to x. Okay, so, ang given sa atin is yung center ng ating circles ay nandito sa line na to. So, it can be anywhere dito. No? But this circle will represent lahat ng circles na yon. Okay, so let's say na ito yung ating center ng circle. So, katulad nung natutunan natin sa analytic geometry, no? ang ginagamit natin doon to represent the center ng ating circle is yung coordinates H and K. Okay? And then, for our radius, let's say this one. This is our radius A. Okay? And para malinaw, this is our line y is equal to x. Okay? Para identified natin lahat ng kailangan natin. Now, since y is equal to x, ibig sabihin kung ano yung value ng y natin, yun din yung value ng x natin, di ba? So, therefore, itong ating center ng ating circle, which is h and k, they have equal value also. So, therefore, uh, ang, ating, ang ating center can be h, h, no? Since k is equal to h, okay, we can represent that in that manner, okay? So, sulatulin natin yung equation ng ating circle. So, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to a squared, okay? So, same lang nung ginawa natin kanina. But now, our k is also equal to h. Okay? So, I'm just going to substitute h dito sa ating k, no? So, now I will have x minus h squared plus y minus h squared is equal to a squared. Okay? So, now kunin na natin yung derivative natin. So, the derivative of x minus h squared will be 2 x minus h then the derivative of x minus h will be 1 plus the derivative of y minus h squared will be 2y minus h. Then the derivative of y minus h is y prime and this is equal to 0. Okay, so we have 2x minus h plus 2y prime y minus h is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, no? Okay, so I'm going to divide all by 2. So, this will be cancelled out. Okay, so ang may iwan sa atin dito is um, x minus h um, plus y prime 
y minus h is equal to 0. Okay, so let us now distribute itong y prime dito sa ating y minus h no, na nasa loob ng grouping symbol. So we will have x minus h plus y y prime minus h y prime is equal to 0. Okay, so pagsamahin natin itong parehong merong h, okay, para ma-eliminate natin yung ating h. Okay, so we have negative h times 1 plus 1 y prime, okay, and then plus x plus y y prime is equal to 0. Alright, so kailangan kasi natin ma-isolate itong h para pag nag- uh, kumuha tayo ng derivative, uh, it will be cancelled out because it will be equal to 0 since the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. Okay? So, gagawin natin, I will transpose this to the other side ng ating equation. So, I will have h 1 plus y prime is equal to x plus y y prime. So, this will be h is equal to x plus y, y prime over 1 plus y prime. Okay? Alright. So, ngayon, pwede na natin kunin yung derivative niya. Okay? So, the derivative of h will be 0. So, nawala na yung ating arbitrary constant. No? Okay? So, okay, so we have 1 plus y prime times the derivative of x plus y y prime. Okay? So, the derivative of x is 1 plus the derivative of y y prime. Okay? So, that will be y y2 prime plus y prime squared. Okay? So, we already know that sa ating differential calculus, no? Yung pagkuha ng derivative natin. Then, minus, we have um, x plus y y prime times the derivative of 1 plus y prime which is equal to y 2 prime. Okay, and then we're going to square itong ating denominator. Alright, so now we're going to simplify itong ating sagot. No? So, multiplying both sides by 1 plus y prime squared. So, ang may iwan lang sa atin is itong ating numerator. Okay, so we will have 0 is equal to 1 plus y prime times 1 plus y, y2 prime plus y prime squared. Okay, minus x plus y, y prime times y2 prime. Alright, so in order to simplify, i-distribute na natin itong ating mga polynomials dito. No? So, distributive property yan. So, we have 0 is equal to 1 times 1 will be 1 plus 1 times y times y prime will be y y2 prime plus 1 times y prime squared then plus y prime times 1 will be y prime then plus y prime times y y2 prime will be y y prime y2 prime then plus um, y prime times y prime squared will be y prime cube okay then here we have minus y2 prime times x will be x y2 prime. Then minus y2 prime times y y prime will be y y prime y2 prime. Okay? So, kung makikita ninyo, meron tayo dito similar term. Meron tayong y y prime y2 prime. And this is also y y prime y2 prime. And they are in different sign or opposite sign. So, this will be equal to 0. Okay, so therefore, ang uh, may iwan sa atin dito is 0 is equal to, um, let me arrange it now sa mas magandang ayos. No? Kasi uh, as you can see, meron tayo ditong pwedeng isimplify. No? E, bahil dito, pare, pareho tayo merong y2 prime. So pwede natin yang i-factor out. Okay, so unahin ko itong, uh, isulat itong y prime cube. So we have y prime cube. Okay, so... Ayusin ko lang yung pagkakasulat. Kasi mukhang 13 eh. So, y prime cube. Okay. Then, sunod ko na itong 
y prime squared so we have plus y prime squared and then sunod na natin itong y prime so we have here plus y prime then we have plus 1 here okay and then sulat na natin to um, plus y y2 prime and then we have this one which is minus x y2 prime okay so factor out ko lang itong y2 prime para mas simplify natin so we have 0 is equal to y prime cube plus y prime squared plus y prime plus 1 plus y2 prime times y minus x okay so this is our final answer dito sa ating second question Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.